Yes, yes, Mr. Nariman, we would like to hear. Uh, may it please you, uh, Chief. My Lord, I'm, I'm very much obliged uh, for this opportunity to address you, my Lord. I'm very, I would have uh, really been delighted if I was there physically. But, uh, my Lord, there are all sorts of constraints. Otherwise, I would have uh, not... Uh, I, I, we would also have liked you to be present here, but... Then. No, it's only because of your indulgence that you are, my Lord, able something to... Is, uh, something is better here. than nothing. My Lord, <laughs> My Lord, the, the point that the soli learned solicitor has raised, my Lord, is important. I'm not saying it's not important. <laughs> the questions that have been framed are also important because they would have a bearing ultimately on something to be decided in this case affecting the Sanayana judgment. There's no doubt about it. it. It would be so. But the point only is, my Lord, Today you are you have a writ petition of 1986 between a petitioner, the state, which is now redundant because the state was to support the act, but the act is repealed, and a private individual. Now, a lot a catena of decisions have said that such a writ petition is not maintainable at all. Now, whether you decide it now. You decided later, you decided after nine judges, but at some point of time, that decision will have to be done in a pending matter because that is the only matter before you, containing a whole bundle of facts, a whole set of denials, lot of affidavits which I'm not bothering you with. Therefore, my Lord, the question certainly can be referred, but nothing survives today in this petition. And that's for your consideration, because although the act is repealed, the question of my right to excommunicate and the challenge to that survives does not enable the present rate petitioner to move under 32. That's, that's for your lordship consideration. There are judgments of your lordship specifically saying between private parties there cannot be an enforcement of the writ. Now, that's one of the considerations, whether you take it up now, whether you take, I'm not even not at the moment trying to uh, short circuit anything, but take it up now, take it up later, but that question does arise, and it will arise later. And there is, there is one solution to this, perhaps, following what the solicitor says, namely, in the Sabrimala case, it was contended by before one of the dissenting judges, my Lord, Justice Chandrachud, just as Mr. Nariman dissented, Justice Chandrachud also dissented. And the justice, uh, the, that the Sayana case should also be deferred. And his Lordship said, if your Lordship turns to the, the Sabrimala judgment in at page 180, para 272, 2019, 11 SCC. If you have got it with you, my lord. Para 272 you are mentioning? I'm obliged, my lord, at 180. This is the the other descent of um, Honorable Justice Chandra. And this, this lord said, my lord, after discussing it at the it. bottom, just this, before 273. This is concurring. In Saifuddin, he calls it Saifuddin. This is a Sayedna case is presently pending consideration before a larger bench, that is your lordship. Yes. Because this comes subsequent to the five-judge bench judgment, my lord, which said that if you are convinced that the law laid down is wrong, then you refer it to Salam. Lavati's judgment. Mm -hmm. judgment. <laughs> so, my lord, quite frankly, this was all considered. Mm. By the judges. It's not as if it's only that it happens to be the other dissenting judge refers to it. But uh, in, in this opinion, Mr. Nariman, uh, Justice Chanakir's view was the. Yeah, view, view was just, yeah, same as Justice Nariman's. So it was, the, it was the majority view. In this one, it's the majority view. Yes. Yes, yes, it was the majority view. Same as Justice uh, Nariman and same as Justice Chief Justice Deepak Mishra. Concurring uh, majority view. This is the concurring yes. majority view, four is to one which went. Four is yeah, absolutely three. correct. It's only Ju uh, Honorable Justice Indu Malotra who took the dissenting view, which ultimately Justice Gogoi Malot thought was the correct view and ultimately 
uh, all those questions are arisen. So there is no doubt these questions, the, the, the questions as framed by the nine judge bench, I can't get away from it. it. It requires to be considered and it will possibly be considered in God's good, good time. But, uh, but today, my Lord, we, what are we, we are faced with this problem. There's no question of referring anything. 